Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am serving up my review of Cafe Master Story, Kairosoft's cafe simulation management game. Cafe Master Story is a modern Kairosoft title that was recently released in 2023 alongside Dreamtown Island, which we have previously covered on this channel. Let's brew up my review of the game and see how this title stacks up to other modern Kairosoft games. Cafe Master Story was released in 2023 alongside three other releases over the course of the year. 2023 was a big year for Kairosoft games. The titles released in my opinion were a lot more ambitious in scale and more polished than previous games. So be sure to subscribe and stick around as I cover them all on this channel. Kairosoft have a charming way of announcing new titles which I love. They are almost like hidden easter eggs that are sneakily uploaded to their Cairo Park Japanese website, offering a handful of images to tease a new game. Cafe Master Story was initially teased on the website in April 2023. Similar to Dreamtown Island, Cafe Master Story was also released two days apart on iOS and Android, initially on Android on June 28th, and then on iOS shortly after on June 30th. Long gone is the era of waiting large amounts of days, even months, or even years, to simply port to another platform. Pocket League Story 2 is the largest example of this, taking over two years and ten months to port from Android to iOS. My guess is they delayed the port for so long due to the game being one of the first to implement microtransactions in a free game model, which was not so well received by the community to say the least, or due to it being the first game to ever allow playing against friends. It's great to see that modern titles now have such little port delay between mobile versions and even PC console versions now. I mean, I recall in 2010 one of the main reasons I wanted an iPod Touch entirely was to be able to play Kairosoft games such as Game Dev Story and Hot Spring Story, released months earlier only on iOS. Interestingly enough, Cafe Master Story was even released in the same month as Dreamtown Island, being one of the shortest timeframes for a game to release after another title. This was great news at the time, and for Kairosoft fans, we were eating good, but this in turn would bring forth a large new release drought with the next titles releasing months later in November for TV Studio Story and January of the next year for Cavern Adventures. That's enough about the history, we have to wake up and smell the fresh coffee beans that are brewing and jump right into the gameplay. Cafe Master Story isn't Kairosoft's first game centred around a hospitality theme. Oh no no, they have previously covered restaurant management simulations and even a dessert store simulator. Kairosoft are the masters at making simulators for every niche possible, while making them fresh and unique. That's what makes their game so fantastic. Cafe Master Story offers a unique gameplay experience by having the primary product being sold in the game being based on liquids, rather than food meals. In this title you'll be blending up new recipes for teas, coffees and everything in between, while also serving up food. It's a really good combination. So let's jump right into making my first cafe here. I'm going to name this establishment Bao's Roasted Beans and prepare to serve all my customers the best coffee they have ever experienced in their life. Starting out is similar to most Kairosoft food simulation games. You can start by making adjustments to the floor layout and furniture additions to start shaping up the store to your dream coffee paradise. Customers will slowly start to come in and check out the brand new store in town, Bao's Roasted Beans. When they are ready to order, they will have an order bell above their head and a server will assist them. This is all automated though, you don't have to manually do this. The first step is making sure we have enough seat for all these customers, otherwise they will go home empty handed without their morning joe. I'm just not me without my morning coffee. So, to prevent that from ever happening, let's make sure we have enough seats and counters here. I like the addition of counters which are smaller and can stack against walls. It provides a lot of variation alongside the basic table layout which is commonly used and allows you to make the cafe design layout a little bit more unique. Looks like we are ready to hire our first staff to help with all these orders coming in. Hmm, let's check in on our options here. Lemony Faber, I like it. I'm sure he will help to make sure the place continues to smell great. Oh, but hold on, we could also be getting Milo Pike. I sure do love my Milo, that is one of my favourite drinks, and this is a drink game after all. I'm sure he knows how to make a mean Milo to wow the customers. Wait a second, drop everything. Eddie Slurpy? The Slurp Master? Surely this guy has got to have a killer recipe for a slurp juice. You're hired. People say I'm kind of vanilla. Ah, like the drinks we serve here. I love it, love a comedian. You're a stitch up, Eddie. You're going to fit in just great. Let's see if we can also bag Milo here at the checkout. And ooh, ah, sorry, Milo. Even though you said, hmm, my odds are being hired a 66 and two thirds percent. The odds were not in your favor. Also, who even speaks like that? 66 and two thirds instead of just 66.6. .6? This is why you dropped the ball, Milo. Get it together, man. Milo, you're 
You're fired. You're, You're fired. fired. Friendship ended with Milo. Eddie Slurpee is my best friend now. Well, now that we got that important business taken care of, eventually you'll be able to serve up a completely custom menu. Being able to completely customize every single drink and dish that is available at the cafe. Let's see here, looks like we just unlocked our first menu item. How exciting. I can now serve a boiled egg. Oh, yikes. That's rough. But that's all I can offer for now. Throw it on the menu. It's today's special. Who doesn't love washing down a piping hot black coffee with a boiled egg? That's the breakfast of champions. The menu is great fun. It's super interesting to unlock drink recipes and create depending on what you like on each playthrough. It actually took me a while to realize that you can actually scroll down the menu to allow for more featured dishes at once. Yeah, I sorry customers, I was serving boiled eggs exclusively for a year in my playthrough. Bet the customers just kept coming back. They couldn't get enough. Looks like eggs. Back on the menu, boys. boys. <laughs> Today's special is boiled egg. This month's special is boiled egg, and this year's special is boiled egg. Some of the order amounts are hilarious, the portions in particular. Like this person who just ordered eight boiled eggs to go, and not even a coffee. Sure, I understand it was literally the only food option on the menu for over a year. It's the special, by the way. But who even is this person? They came to a cafe not even to order a single coffee, but only to get eight boiled eggs for takeaway. Like, surely this would have been so much easier to boil at home. But hey, there's no judgment here. That's no exaggeration. All right, I'm walking on eggshells over here. Let's move on to the customers. Customers will also come in with specific requests titled Troubles, which you can aim to complete to progress. In this minigame-like segment, a customer will come forward with a request of something that they would like, and you have to do your best to match their request to an existing menu item you have. Hmm, this customer wants something refreshing alongside toast. Well, I don't have any bread yet, so let's go for an iced tea. Oh nice, looks like that seemed to do the trick. This isn't what I wanted at all. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. This time, let's serve them three drinks of what they didn't request, and hopefully we might be able to squeeze through a pass. And they loved it! Turns out if you just give a customer three wrong drinks instead of one wrong drink, they will be satisfied, so that's good to know. Oh wow, they even shared their own secret recipe with me. And we're waiting. Buttered toast? Let me guess, if I had to take a stab in the dark, the ingredients are bread and butter. Maybe egg too. The customers will actually give you a hint into what kind of drink they would like. Some request more bitter drinks, which would be coffee, while others might want a drink that is more fragrant, which is typically tea. All of your drink combination creations actually have four values, so they're useful to check when serving these customers. If you fumble the bag really bad on this drink suggestion, the customer will straight up be insulted and refuse to drink it, which is just hilarious. I love that, just throw it away. How dare you serve me tea? Nice throw! These trouble requests are really great as they offer a variety of tasks to complete that aren't all the same completion criteria. For this next one, this customer wants a place to set up camp to work, so we have to impress them enough at the cafe to fill the meter above their heads, similar to other games. In order to guarantee a happy customer, charm values return in this game. Each table and bench in the cafe has its own charm value. Placing scenery around them will help increase its value, similar to comfort in other titles, and in turn making the customer more happy. So let's pick the table with the highest charm here, and bam, we've got a new loyal customer for life. Alongside completing customer troubles, you can also invest research subjects to unlock new recipes. One thing you'll notice in particular with Cafe Master Story is that it is a lot more laid back and relaxing to play than most other Kairosoft titles, very fitting to the game's theme. Overall, there is significantly less to manage on a day-to-day -day basis. The primary objectives are just to get through the customer troubles, so you can easily take your time and just tackle them whenever you're ready. I found it funny that it took up to the second year before Girl was available as a customer that visits. There are already plenty of women character visiting, but Girl specifically was not interested in the cafe till much later. The event notifications in Kairosoft games are always great, breaking the repetitive day-to-day -day tasks. Take for example this one. Boss, a big hairy person, is here to to see you? Oh my god, is it Bigfoot? Have we finally caught the elusive ape on film in my very own cafe? Oh, it's Grizzly Barrington! Of course, he's here to help expand the cafe and make it large as we progress through the game. Let's check out his request straight away. He would like something sweet. I mean, that's only fitting. Bears love honey. 
I really like the speaking animation that they have for these panels and throughout the game. Even when they're in the cafe, they actually have this speaking animation. It's really great. I think it adds a lot of charm and it's implemented really well. I hope that in later titles, they consider maybe adding unique character speaking sounds like in Banjo-Kazooie and Ace Attorney. It provides a lot of characterization and personality to the text dialogue sections without actually needing to record any voice lines. It just uses sound effects. Yeah, I can do one for Grizzly Barrington right now. <laughs> Yes, yes, I know, amazing. Voice actor roles are flying at me. Let's go ahead and give Grizzly Barrington a honey-infused drink for his sore throat and expand our humble little cafe into the next Starbucks. Oh, look, another one. A roly-poly pink person is here to see you. Okay, I'm genuinely baffled by this one. They're almost like riddles. My only guess is it could be Pink Rabbit, which we have seen before in Mega Mall Story and he's a recurring character. Oh, it's Mochi Bok. I didn't get that one right at all. Now let's talk unique features. Cafe Master Story doesn't have a large amount of unique features by itself, but it does have one new system which is a great spin on a classic Kairosoft quirk. It's great to see that auras return in this game as you play through the days your employees may occasionally go on fire. Don't panic, it offers large buffs to the drinks they produce, they're on fire literally. So let's discuss this game's signature feature, blending ingredients to make unique drinks. This game doesn't focus much on layout combos or have any facility combinations at all for that matter. The main feature to collect and progress in this title is discovering new menu items by combining foods and ingredients. This is a great spin on the usual combo system. I love that it is centered around the cafe's menu and discovering new drinks to serve to the customers and making combinations from it. It is really well integrated into the game. It's super fun trying to find out all the combinations to see if they match at all, if they work well and improving them next time. I also love that it has a small preview of the barista preparing the drink at the top right hand corner. It looks even better when they have an aura. It really looks like they're on a creative spree while being on fire. Just calmly petting and massaging the teacup while on fire. It's hilarious. Let's see what all that extremely intense hard work paid off to be and what amazing new recipe we will discover. TT. <laughs> yep. TT. It was tea made with more tea leaves. It's a top seller. We've got a new yearly special. Perfect. Perfect. Everything down to the last minute details. Another signature quirk of this game is the combination dish feature. Alongside making new drinks, combining ingredients to make a new drink specifically, you can make combo dishes. This allows you to make a set menu from three main products that you have made. The main drink, the main meal, and a side dish. Well, if there is one thing I know correct about this playthrough, it is that eggs are booming in this town. Let's create a breakfast menu combo offering coffee, buttered bread, and a boiled egg. <laughs> we all know what's bringing the customers back here. It's the boiled egg. Now that the combination is complete, we actually go to a small tasting panel, which I think is a great part of the game. Let's see what they think and I've got a real craving for boiled eggs. I knew it, it's a smash hit with the inclusion of the boiled egg. Well, that's okay, we'll return back to this later. I've got an idea. As you progress throughout the game, you'll be able to expand to become a larger cafe. After completing Grizzly Barrington's request, by slipping him a very sweet drink, which is his favorite, you can expand the walls of the facility to increase the size, allowing you to seat more customers. In this game, there isn't actually a typical routine yearly contest at all, meaning the primary goal for early game progression is just to reach the rank up requirements. This is what I meant earlier, that the gameplay is generally a bit more relaxed overall, opposed to let's say Dreamtown Island, where there are yearly contests and frequently things to upgrade and manage. Cafe Master Story is just significantly more laid back and relaxed. This will either be the best or worst feature depending on how you like games. But for me, I personally enjoyed it as it reminded me of the simplicity of earlier Kairosoft titles. As usual, you can level up your staff members and hire a larger team. Speaking of, we do need some new hands on deck, so let's see who's available to hire and well, 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 if it isn't Milo Pike, Looks like he is just sticking around, much like a good serving of Milo floating to the top of milk. Welcome to the team, Milo. You've been hired, you've been fired, and now you've been hired again. Another gameplay aspect that you can rank up over time is the level of your food and drinks. Adding ingredients to existing items on the menu will allow them to level up, providing more value and bonuses as you rank them up. You can even level up the ingredients themselves, which in turn boosts the recipes. When you arrive later in the game, you'll be able to enter food competitions to impress guest judges with the food combination dishes you have made. 
These contests, like many other aspects of this game, are available at any time in the menu once you unlock them, which makes them a lot more easier to prepare for rather than a repeat annual competition. So you can just enter the competition whenever you're ready, it's really good. Let's check out my entry into the competition and oh man, yeah we got bronze, that's, that's not good. Well, there is a simple solution to this. There clearly wasn't enough egg dishes involved, just the boiled egg alone won't work. We know what this town loves. Let's retry this with my current best-selling drink, the Nectar Iced Lemon Tea. Oh, how good. And let's double down here and select the egg sandwich and the boiled egg. This is going to be a sure hit. When life gives you lemons, throw them out and replace them with more eggs. Or make some lemon juice and combine it with eggs to make hollandaise. You got to think about the eggs here. This two-course egg meal is going to be the pinnacle of culinary arts. Everything this town has been begging for. Don't ever ask me for anything again. Well, here we go, here come the results. I'd eat this even if it wasn't part of the job. Absolutely marvellous. And I'd eat this even if it wasn't part of the job. Again, it's so good that makes the judges say the same dialogue twice, but this is the one, baby. We are egg millionaires now. The last aspect I would like to touch on is the music in the game. And overall, I'd say the title just doesn't have quite as good of a soundtrack as other Kyrosoft titles. The music is okay, but it just gets repetitive a lot quicker than other titles, especially Dreamtown Island, which had a surprisingly refreshing and quality soundtrack. Well, at this point, I would say I am filled right up on my share of tea, coffee and egg. Just the perfect amount. Let's jump right into my review of this cafe managing experience. Cafe Master Story is a simplistic Kyrosoft experience focused around serving customers your very own customised drinks and food. This title is very reminiscent of earlier Kyrosoft games, stripping back a lot of events and gameplay elements to provide a very refined and streamlined game experience, while still being an enjoyable time and not too boring. The game itself offers a huge variety of food and drink combinations to uncover, but that is really all the game offers in comparison to other Kyrosoft titles. This is the deciding factor, people will either really enjoy or dislike how simple the gameplay is. But to me it is very nostalgic of the earlier titles, and it is a very enjoyable time just to relax to and make horrific food combination experiments and collect them all. Cafe Master Story serves up a solid 7 out of 10 experience. Well, that was a very relaxing time. Cafe Master Story sure is a lot more laid back than some of the previous titles we have looked at. It's great to see Kyrosoft producing games similar to their original titles alongside developing expansive ambitious games like Dreamtown Island. Cafe Master Story in my opinion is worth checking out, having less things to worry about each day and being able to experiment and create so many food and drink Frankenstein combinations keeps you more than preoccupied. What are your thoughts on Cafe Master Story? Is this a Kyrosoft game that you enjoyed? Let me know in the comments below what you think of the game, and if you played it, let me know how you think it stacks up against other titles. If you enjoyed this Kyrosoft review, please make sure to like and subscribe as I continue to work through reviewing every Kyrosoft title. I'm so excited to dive into more reviews and share my thoughts on the games that are currently released alongside games that are coming out in the future. And a massive thank you from the bottom of my heart to you, the Wow It's Bow viewers, for supporting this channel by watching this video and subscribing. We are so close to closing into 1000 subscribers, which is a massive milestone for the channel, and I can't thank you all enough for supporting my dream of reviewing games. So stay tuned for more Kyrosoft content and other game reviews coming out soon. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.